am Lucy Ross Monson. Today I want to show you around our latest Transit 148 Extra Long. Before we step inside, I'll talk about a few exterior highlights of this vehicle. So we have a mild suspension upgrade. We also have Method race wheels with KO2 tires. At both our sliding door and our rear door, we're going to have these bug screens and that's going to be from our B components. And then we also have a flip down happy hour table here and that's going to be birch so that it matches our table on the interior. Let's step inside. Welcome inside. Before I go into the specific components of this build, I'll talk about some design highlights as well as the overall layout. So starting all the way up top, we have a stained pine tongue and groove ceiling. All of our uppers and our lowers are going to be white painted slab door cabinets. We have birch butcher block countertops and then we also have a birch table here um, to kind of go with that theme. And then lastly we have white painted wall panels to kind of go with our uppers and make this a nice light and bright vehicle. When it comes to layout we have room for an additional rider up front uh, that is also going to double as our dinette area. We have our galley as you move back as well as storage for our toilet. Then we have a fixed bed in the rear with some storage below. So I'm going to start in the front and we'll work our way back. Starting in the front of the vehicle we have an 18 inch JMG captain's chair. This is going to be a birch table on a lagoon mount so when you're actually in transit you can always take it off. So there you can have it in non-table mode while you're driving and then when you want to turn the captain's chairs around and create a little dinette area for everyone you can put the table back up and enjoy a nice little area. Moving back from there we have our, have our galley predominantly on the passenger side here so we have those butcher block countertops with that we'll have a 20 inch flip up countertop extension we have a 15 by 20 Rivati workstation sink with the cutting board insert beneath the sink we'll have a seven gallon removable gray water tank there as we move further back, we have a Dometic oven and range top. So this is gonna be propane. And then beyond that, we have an isotherm door style Cruise 85 fridge and freezer. Beneath our oven, we also just have a really nice big drawer here to store some of those heavier kitchen items. As we move over to the driver's side, we just have a ton of storage as well as a little bit more working space for our galley. So we have a nice open cabinet here with some room for adjustable shelves if they ever want that. We have a drawer, again, all of this on RV latches so everything stays closed while in transit. We have uppers down the side. All of these will have gas struts for assisted opening and closing. And then lastly, we have storage for our Nature's Head composting toilet. So this is gonna be on a locking gear slide. You can unclip those. You can pull this out and then you have a nice place to use the bathroom and also store it away when it's not in use. Moving rearward from there we have a hard partition separating our garage storage from the rest of the living area. We also have a nice lip here so that'll keep all the bedding in the bed. This bed is going to sleep lengthwise um, and it is going to be 75 inches long and then on this side of the bed we have reading lights as well as um, some padding there. So make it a little bit more cozy back there. Closing out this area, I'll talk about ventilation, heating, and cooling. So as I mentioned, we have the half slide windows in the rear. We have a T-vent window in the front. We have two max air fans in the ceiling. Um, this rig is gonna have a cruise and comfort AC unit. So that'll keep it nice and cool in the summer months. And then we have an aqua hot hydronic heat and hot water system that is gonna service both our indoor sink and our outdoor shower, as well as keep this vehicle nice and warm in those winter months. In the rear of the vehicle, we have our garage storage. So back here, everything is made of black hex ply, so it's nice and durable because they're gonna obviously be putting bikes back here. We have a separate lighting zone. We also have a gear tray on 500 pound locking slides with some custom Ross Monster through shaft bike mounts on it. Put that away. Additionally, back here, we have our outdoor shower. And we also have our plumbing and power system storage. So in our plumbing system storage, we have a 30 gallon freshwater tank and we have housing for that aqua hot hydronic heat and hot water system. And then as we move over to the power system side, we have 400 amp hours of lithium battery bank. We have 400 watts of solar through the top and we have a 3000 watt inverter. That wraps up this van. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a tour. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.